Hi everyone and welcome back to EdTech Classroom. For today's two minute tech tip, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a social emotional check-in form to share with your students. So more specifically, we're gonna be looking at some of the key features of Google Forms in under two minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step is to give it a title. So where it says untitled form, I'll just type in check-in and I can give it a description or some directions for students. So I could say, please fill out the survey below. And now I can add my first question. So here where it says untitled question, I'll say, what is your name? Now you'll notice that it automatically changed here to short answer. So before it said multiple choice, Google is really good at guessing what type of answer you're looking for. So it's done that for me. I want this question to be required because I wanna know what students' names are. So I'll click that so it'll be required now for students to fill out. And then next I'll add another question. So for this one, I'll say, what can I do to support you? And you'll see again, Google's really good at guessing and I changed this to a paragraph. I'm not gonna leave this question required because I don't want students to feel like they have to respond to it if they don't feel comfortable. I can always add another one. So maybe I'll do a multiple choice one here. Um, how are you feeling today? And maybe I'll type in some emotions. Now this isn't gonna be you know, fully, fully inclusive of every emotion, but I'm just gonna do a couple to give you guys an idea of what a form could look like. And mad. I'll add another option too. Okay, so you'll see this has created multiple choice. So students will select one answer. So next I'm gonna show you how to customize the theme. So if I go up here to the right hand corner where there's this little um, paint palette, I'll click on it and I'm gonna choose a header image. So I'll click choose image and there's a bunch of different options I can choose from. So I'll click on um, this nice little butterfly here. I like this one. Then I'll click insert. And now you'll see that there's this beautiful header image added to my form. So it just can be a nice sort of personal touch that you can add. That's fun for, fun for your students. You can also change the theme color. So you can add your own custom color or it'll pick one based off of the color scheme in your header image. So if I like this pink here, you'll see that I can do that. And now I'm ready to share this form with my students. So I'll click this send button. I'll grab a link and I can copy this link and now I can share it with students however I please. Thank you so much for watching today's two minute tech tip. I hope you learned a little bit about how to create a Google form to share with your students. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you back here next week on Tech Tuesday. Bye friends.